How to prioritize cargo being placed with the height vertical to the ground. Let's see with a specific example. Cargo data is as follows. Container loading requirements. Firstly, select loading container multiple cargoes. Secondly, fill in the basic information. Thirdly, get the Excel template and then fill in it with cargo data. Copy the name, quantity, length, width, height, which are required. Since cargo A, B, C are better to be placed with the height vertical to the ground and if there is remaining space on the top can be placed with the width vertical to the ground for two to three layers, so fill in the allow column under lay and lay and rotate with zero, zero means not allowed, one or blank means allowed. Fill in support others with zero. Fill in the max stack column under A, B, C's side and side and rotate with a smaller number, two. But the number of this value is not fixed, you can adjust it based on the 3D load planning result. Fourthly, add 40HC from the database. Leave other loading rules as default since there are no other special requirements. Click Loading Result. Then you can get a 3D container loading plan within seconds. From the 3D loading diagram, we can see that most of A, B, C are vertically loaded. Since there is still remaining space on top of these cargoes, so two layers of cargoes are loaded with the width vertical to the ground, which fully meets the loading requirement. To learn more about Loadmaster, please watch other video tutorials. Or try by yourself at httploadmaster.biz. A 30-day full-featured free trial is waiting for you.